Okay, general math students, in this video we're going to look at converting angles between a regular decimal form and degrees, minutes and seconds. Uh, in general math 3, we need to express answers for angles as or in degrees, minutes and seconds, in DMS as we, we call it, not in, uh, in decimal form. So it can be a little fiddly, but you'll get used to it. In the textbook on page 5, they've got an example where they have 41.89 degrees. And in this, they tell us that if we take the decimal part of this and multiply it by 60, then we get this number here. So what we're, what we're saying when we talk about DMS is degrees, minutes, seconds. Well, each degree, each one degree, has 60 minutes or makes up 60 minutes of angle. So it's like splitting one degree into 60 small equal parts. All right, so uh, to the nearest minute, well that says 53.4, but rounding to the nearest minute, that would be uh, 53 minutes. So 41 degrees and 53 minutes, as they say in the textbook. Uh, now, converting the other way, uh, using the, the actual calculator, all right, um, if we tap on the book icon here, see that book there? And uh, I've got DMS already. You're probably, your calculator's probably all the way back up at the top here at ABS on all this stuff. So you just need to uh, go and tap on the letter D and it'll take you down to the Ds and then scroll down a bit and eventually you'll find DMS. Now you don't need to do this every time because once I've tapped it once, it'll stay there every time. It won't scroll back up, which is convenient. Uh, because this is probably just about the only thing that we're going to use from this catalogue. So here we're saying let's convert the answer back to uh, into DMS, 41.89. Oop, that's not what I wanted. I'd need to do it this way. I'd go uh, and put the actual, oops, big pardon, put the actual number in, 41.89, and then I'd tap on the book. And I do it that way, and I tell the calculator, please put that into DMS. And it tells us that is 41 degrees, 53 minutes, and 24 seconds there. So, uh, you know, nearest minute is correct as what the textbook says, 41 degrees, 53 minutes. So we always round to the nearest minute. Of course, in this case, 24 seconds, right? So are we closer to the 54th minute or the 53rd? Well. If we went over 30 seconds, then we'd be closer to 54. But we're you know cl uh, under 30, so we we round down to 41.53. All right, now what if your angle is in DMS and you want to convert it into decimal? Well, that's pretty easy. Although it takes a few t uh, few uh, key tapping moves, but first off, we uh, type in our angle. Now we do it like this: 53. Now I want to tell the calculator that this is degrees, so I tap the degree symbol, so I've gone to, see that pi button there, that button with pi, and uh, if you want to use pi for anything, that's where you find it, by the way, which will come up later in our geometry unit, but so 53 degrees, and then 24, and I'll go back again, so it is a little fiddly this, but it does the job, 54 degrees, 24, 53 degrees, 24 minutes, and the calculator will convert that to us as 53.4 degrees. Okay, so go ahead and try uh, some of those conversions on your calculator. Uh, I've put the questions that, uh, the, in the description for the video and uh, see if you can master uh, converting angles.